Back in the old day when I was in primary school, I didn't have any chance to do experiments, to even make a thing. Uh, what I learned is uh, we're all from teachers, from textbooks. From, so I couldn't really relate what I have learned to the daily life. What is the most important is from doing experiments, they can really uh, connect what they have learned, what they did, what, uh, what they make to their um, daily life. One of the program is about making a parachute. So we gave the children 10 different materials to let them choose what they like. Uh, so they have to uh, choose the materials which are more durable, which are more suitable to make a parachute. We did a lot of research before we started Solar B. Um, there's actually a ton of education centers that says they that said they um, offer STEM programs, but 99% um, of these centers they only focus on technology. Um, so they offer coding, um, robotics, um, 3D printing. I think it's because it's easy to set up. All you have to do is buy a few machines, 3D printers, computers, and um, microbit Arduino. Um, and there's actually a lot of IT talents out there in the market, so it's easy to set up. But for us, we think that STEM should focus on all four areas. So we came up with the idea to um, come up with this program that focuses on all four. So now we do activities like physics, chemistry, biology experiments, um, engineering. Um, we believe that kids should have the freedom to explore um, scientific or natural phenomena uh, in their daily lives. Um, what is sad is that they actually don't have the time to do it. They're too busy and parents, parents focus a lot, of, uh, a lot on academics. But with the STEM trend coming up, we think it's a good opportunity to now actually let them explore a bit more about their lives. One of the experiments that uh, was very popular among the kids was actually our acid alkali. It's a, to us, it's actually a very basic knowledge that things are acidic or alkaline or um, neutral. But to the kids, they actually have no idea what it means. So um, we came with the idea um, to make their own um, pH indicators and um, they see liquids color change and that was very interesting for them. We had a lot of materials, that they were basically just daily life materials that they can get anywhere, like lemon, coffee, milk, then they can basically just test out with their own indicators and then they can tell whether it's acidic and alkaline according to color change. We have um, quite a good pipeline coming up. So first of all, we're trying to expand um, our presence. Um, one thing we're doing, we're not actually renting or starting up another center from scratch. We're cooperating with other education centers who have classrooms that are underutilized. So during weekends, if they have like 10 classrooms and they're probably not filling up all their classes, um, they're inviting us to their center so they can have um, another program that they, they can let kids choose. Um, most of these centers are um, maybe language centers, English centers, so there's no contradiction. It's basically a very complementary thing. And second, we're trying to introduce this to schools, to primary schools, and um, that's in the pipeline. We're still bringing out logistics and stuff.